To go deeper on McConnell's announcement, let's bring in Lauren Wright. She's an associate research scholar and lecturer in politics and public affairs at Princeton University. Lauren, thank you so much for being with us. McConnell was synonymous with conservative politics for decades. As we heard, Nate, he's been a mainstay for a while. The current party looks very different from the one he came into when he entered the Senate in the 1980s. How has this party evolved during his time? Well, the main reason McConnell is sort of out of step with the other conservatives in the Senate, and especially conservatives and Republicans in the House, is foreign policy. And he hinted at that in his floor speech when he said, I know better than anyone what the politics of the moment are, and sort of indicated that he's out of step on things like funding for Ukraine. And Republicans have really sort of gone against the grain and become more nationalistic when it comes to foreign policy. The decades before that you and Reid were just talking about the George W. Bush era that was synonymous with conservatism had a very, very active role for the U.S. in global leadership from a national security perspective and a foreign policy perspective. Today's conservatives, today's Republicans are very hesitant to get involved in foreign conflicts. Some of that is a holdover from Iraq and Afghanistan, um, but some of it is really a Trump phenomenon where there's really an indifference to the U.S.'s historic leadership role. And so McConnell's out of step with that. He still sees the U.S. as a global leader, and perhaps the next generation will go in a different direction. You talked about McConnell being out of step and a Trump phenomenon. To what degree do you think McConnell's decision is influenced by Trump being the likely Republican presidential candidate? Well, he's pretty tough. And so I believe him when he says it's predominantly his age that's driving the decision. And maybe it's a confluence of factors and Trump's one of them. The other thing that's happening, Christian, is domestic policy has really changed while McConnell's been in this post the last few years. He's, remember, he worked with Biden on the infrastructure package. He's been for comprehensive immigration reform. He's much more on the side of legislators like Lindsey Graham who say, you know, I don't know what the politics are, but this is the best deal we're going to get on immigration. And Trump, of course, wants Republicans to hold out and make it an election issue. And so that old school McConnell that's very happy to work with Biden on popular legislation domestically, um, there's also not as much of a home for those legislators. With that said, the three the three Johns, Corn and Thune and Barrasso that are the top people that are expected to replace him are, are also fans of bipartisan work. They've also been around a very long time. And so it doesn't look like this shift is happening immediately necessarily, but uh, could be in the future years. Yeah. Lauren Wright, many thanks for being with us. Folks, we'll be right You're back. You're welcome.